I know. Mind. We are officially in Wales, as you can tell by the rain that is coming down on the car, aren't we? We left about quarter past five, I think. Um, after oh, it was an absolute nightmare, I'm not gonna lie, like packing this afternoon because she decided that she wasn't gonna sleep, wasn't gonna go down for a nap, so was screaming for about two hours. So that was fun trying to pack and do that. So in the end, I just had to wait till Kyle came back. So yeah, we left at about quarter past five um, and then we've been on the road ever since. Got a drive through Mackey's because it's not a road trip without having a McDonald's. And now we are just parked up literally in probably the only service station in North Wales um, that we're gonna get to. <laughs> um, and just giving little one a feed. Um, her bedtime's a little bit different this time. Um, but yeah, we're just giving her a feed. Kyle's gone to get some snacks from the garage. Aren't we? But we're just chilling, aren't we? You were hungry, weren't you? You were hungry. So we're just having some milks. Oh, oh, there's another baby. Can you hear that? So yeah, we're just having a bit of a milk stop, aren't we? I think we, it's about... What time is it now? It's about half seven now, I can see on Kyle's phone. Um, it's about half seven now, and I think we were supposed to get there about ten past nine. So I haven't actually told you where we're going, but we're going to West Wales. We're going to, weirdly enough, the same town that my mum's family are from, um, like where my mum grew up, so obviously we're very, very familiar with it. Um, Margot's actually never been, but it's weird because this... this um, like holidays actually with my dad's family so we always go somewhere for Easter Ooh. is that a little that was a weird, weird burp wasn't it um, so we always go somewhere for Easter with my dad's family and just so happens this time that we have come to Aberaeron. Um so we are spending a week with my dad's family and then we are going to be spending like I think we leave the house because there's like we've got basically a house for like 14 of us we leave the house I think on the Friday like the Easter Friday good Friday I think and then we're spending the like until um Easter Monday with my uncle um at his house so yeah we're seeing sort of both sides of the family which will be quite nice um and it's Margot's first time to Wales so that will be even nicer <laughs> oh yeah <gasps> Mum making a star in a video, Margaret. <laughs> actually, do you know what? Yesterday, she, um, I was filming, and she was actually making noises every time, like the, the camera would go away from her, like as if to be like, uh, "Excuse me, where are you taking that? <laughs> You're gonna be like me, aren't you?" Yes. No. <laughs> yes. No. I used to make videos when I was little. Oh, yeah. I used to make videos when I was little on my dad's camera. <laughs> My dad would like download all the holiday videos and then there would be me like, Hi, my name's Avina, <laughs> like seven year old me. <laughs> oh, are you going to be like mummy? No. Are you going to be like daddy? Yeah. I feel like you're going to be like mummy. No. I feel like she is just to annoy daddy. No. <laughs> yeah. You're going to have to go in your car seat in a minute. Yeah. You're going to have to go in your car seat and then you go to back to sleep. Go back to sleeps. And then you'll arrive at a new little place, won't you? Yeah, you will. Good morning vlog from sunny Wales. Lol joke, it's literally pouring it down with rain. Pouring it down. Like, to be honest, to be expected, but yeah. Um, we had our first night, we literally just like arrived yesterday, I think like half nine in the end. Um, yeah, it was like half nine. Um, my parents were here with my grandma. Everyone else is coming like this afternoon or like this evening. Um, and then we literally just had to do like projects set up quickly for Margot. So like set up her like travel cart, set up her like perfect prep machine. It was just quite chaotic. Um, so obviously didn't vlog anything then. Um, but yeah, it's nice. It's like, a, it's quite a big house. Like little like nooks and crannies kind of thing so I'm excited to I haven't actually seen the whole house so I'm gonna do that this morning go and have a little look um but first I need to 
shower and wash my hair so we have literally just come back from town it's actually really nice outside it's like 15 degrees it was sunny i feel like i might have even caught the sun a little bit um which is a very very bold comparison from last night and this morning um so yeah it was a nice little nice little walk around we actually like got like kyle got a beer i got a rose and just sat like outside in the harbour um proper start to our holidays um i thought whilst everyone is out literally it's just me kyle and margot in the house at the moment because we're still waiting for obviously everyone to come and those that have arrived have gone out um so i just thought i would give you a little house tour okay so i'll start in our room which is a bit of a tip um already but i feel like you can't be tidy when you have a baby like I just feel like it's just not so this is our room we've got a really nice four poster bed i'm not gonna lie guys the decor is not to my taste at all but it's probably like one of the only houses that could accommodate like 14 people so we've got margini's bed there and then we have got an ensuite there which doesn't look like much but oh my god that power that shower is so powerful so it's so good so yeah this is our bedroom then we've got some stairs here this is another bedroom yet obviously people are yet to claim rooms because they haven't arrived yet so you can go that way down um but I'll, I'll go down that way in a minute but then come up a few more steps here and that is another room this one's a double room um and it's got such a nice like little look out of the field and the rivers there um yeah there's some little like i don't actually know if you can see them i think they're hiding behind there but yeah, there's some like little sheep of course because it's wales um some sheep in the garden there or well, not the garden the field um so yeah so that's this bedroom then there is a shower bath room thing um which i'm not gonna lie it's like one of those really low baths but it looks like it can fit a good size human in it so i'm gonna definitely be trying that one out um and then here is another room so a little tv there um little single beds and again really nice view of like the river and the hills so then you can go down there um and i'll show you where that takes you but i'll come down here um again i must emphasize that this is just not not the decor that you know but here's like another little like i guess like a little living room kind of thing um i feel like this is just going to be a kind of like dumping room because obviously it doesn't have enough like seats and stuff for us all um and then this is the main entrance to the house and then this is like the hallway i'm not gonna lie like look at them just not not our vibe at all um but yeah so i feel like this is just kind of going to be a bit of a dumping area then kitchen so you come downstairs here and that is a like a utility room leads up to the garden as well but it's got like a little football table and stuff like that and a washing machine which obviously is a necessity for a newborn this is where that stairs was that was like from the other room so you can basically go like two ways up the stairs uh to like upstairs another little bathroom in here and then this is the kitchen so it's quite a nice kitchen with like an island and then table and then a little baby the baby comes with the house does the baby come with the house and then just living room <laughs> and a dad that comes with the house too <laughs> um and then that is the annex that's got two more bedrooms and then a balcony thing up there but i'm not gonna go because i've got no shoes on and it's gonna be wet but that is the view then from the garden house tour's finished hello 
again vlog. Um, we have just been to Newquay, um, literally just me, yeah, me and you baby girl, haven't we? Um, everyone else went on like a real like coaster walk, which was like steep and stuff like that, which at first I was like, oh yeah, I'll do it with a carrier. And then we were like, yeah, maybe not. So I decided to take myself to Newquay, which is literally 10 minutes from where we're staying. I know the place so, so well, like literally off the back of my hand. Um, so we, me and Margot have, thankfully she's been sleeping most of the time, so I've actually managed to be able to just like switch off, relax, read my book. I had chocolate milkshake from the ice cream shop. Um, and yeah, it's just so warm. Like honestly, like I bought my big puffer jacket out with me, but actually I didn't need it. Like saying it's 15 degrees outside and it's so, so nice. This is literally my view from like, the car it's so so nice like where i've parked and stuff i bought some new sunglasses as well today um i am actually i'm actually a massive fan um i don't know if they're a bit like out there and stuff like that but i'm like a big fan of them um just from this like little boutique in town um i'm just feeling a bit more I feel quite bougie in these um my hair is ridiculously greasy so it's sweat back but i'm gonna go back now because i think kyle's basically kyle's got to work for this most of this week um so like eight till four whatever so it's ten past four now so hopefully once we get back he will be finished and we can have like him back and stuff like that um but yeah we're just having just had a nice day in the sun i think it's supposed to be sunny as well tomorrow um so me and my mum are gonna go into cardian with margot maybe go for some lunch whilst everyone else i think everyone else is going to climb some mountain so um obviously we're not going to be doing that with margot um so yeah so we're doing that um tomorrow and then i don't really know what else the plans are for the rest of the week but i think tomorrow is supposed to be nice again like today wednesday and thursday are supposed to be like really rainy i think so probably do some sort of like indoor activity then um and then literally over the bank holiday weekend like friday saturday sunday monday it's supposed to be so so nice here so i'm excited about that west wales is always so nice in the sun like i know everyone complains about wales and says it rains all the time but actually it's so lovely in the sun so i'm just soaking up the sun whilst we can <laughs> Yams. Hi guys, just picking the camera up for literally like the first, I feel like what feels like the first like proper time this holiday. Um, I know I said that I was going to be like vlogging this whole Easter holidays, um, but to be honest, like I just literally had such a nice time with my family, um, like my dad's side of the family. Um, there was like 12 of us, so there was like a lot catching up to do. Some of them hadn't even met on Margot yet. So there was a lot of catching up and I just, I didn't even pick up my phone. Like I literally haven't even been on Instagram. I haven't even replied to my friend's texts. Like I have been completely offline and I have loved it. It's been so, so nice to just absorb everything and just have a bit of like offline time. We had like a really nice few days. We had like some really sunny days where we had some ice cream, that kind of thing. Um, Kyle was working for the majority of the week. So um, I, sort of just took Margo off on the bits that like say if everyone went on a walk that we couldn't do I took her off on my own um but most of the time like I could go along with my family with the buggy and it was all good um so we had like a really nice week we had a little bit of rain on one of the days um but apart from that it's been really nice so it is now we left that property on Easter Friday um and it is now it's the Saturday of the Easter weekend like the bank holiday we yeah, it is. I just suddenly forgot then what we were doing. Yeah, it's it's the Saturday of Easter Bank holiday. I've literally lost all concept of time. Um, so we are at my mum's brother's house now. Um, so he literally lives about five minutes from where we were staying this past week. So it really hasn't been. It was like pack the car up and yeah, like pack the car up and just move like five minutes down the road. Um, but we're staying here till Easter Monday, like we're gonna go early Monday so we can kind of be back, chill a little bit before Kyle has to go back to work on Tuesday. So we went into Avery Run this morning, got a coffee, that kind of thing, and really nice cake, um, like literally 10 out of 10 cake. Um, and I think tonight, like this afternoon, we are going to go for a walk. So my uncle literally lives like five minutes down from the beach and we have grown up on this beach like it's such a nice beach 
um, we eat like paddleboard and stuff like that in the summer um, obviously it's a bit too cold to do that at the moment but we're going to walk from one side of the beach to Newquay which is maybe like a half hour walk um, so we're going to put Margo in the carrier and it'll be like her first time on the beach which was really really nice um, and then I think we might go and get an ice cream because it is really sunny out there it's about 15 degrees so it's nice weather um, and then this after, like this evening um, we are going for a meal um, at just our local restaurant um, it's the first time we've tried it we've been there for like coffee and stuff like that but it's the first time we're trying it as like a restaurant so we shall see but yeah I hope I can like pick the camera up a little bit over the past like two days just to kind of show you off a little bit of what we've been doing in the East holidays so this is Panath Beach um, this is where like basically we have there to Newquay. Hopefully, like when the tide is out. Otherwise, if the tide is in, you get cut off. Um, so we check the tide times, and we should be okay. Um, if not, I think there's like a diversion that you go over there, over there somewhere. Um, but that's Newquay, and I think we're gonna head there and get a nice one. Actually, Easter can be significant as well. Do you look? Look how cute you look. So, mum put that camera away. Mum put that camera away. She's put staring camera at out it. My face. <laughs> Are you all warm now? Yes. Hey, my girl. You enjoyed the seaside? Oh, dad. So Are you enjoying the seaside? So what? Are you enjoying the seaside? So have we switched two hats now. We bought you a little sun hat and now you're going into the warm, into the cold hat. Some more. Yeah. Yeah. We've just literally got back from um, a little beach walk. Um, we literally did four and a half miles, which was quite good going. Um, I actually had a bit of a mum fail and I haven't... Margot doesn't have a sun hat because, let's be honest, it hasn't exactly been the nicest weather um, since she's been born. And obviously, like, you only really need a sun hat when it's starting to get sunny or whatever. But this weekend has been so sunny so far. So she was, like, in the in the um, carrier. Um, and we were like, right, okay, we need to get her a sun hat because she had to wear her woolly hat and then we put, like, a little cap, an adult's cap, uh, on top of it. So, um, yeah, so we've got a really cute, really, really, really cute, like, little white hat with, like, little, like, sea creatures on it, which was so cute, and she looks so cute in it. Um, but, yeah, we've literally just got back now, and we are quickly turning it around and going for a meal out this evening. I've just got changed, because I was wearing my, like, Adenola set um, and my Anna and Bing um, hoodie, which I always feel like such a put-together mum when I wear that. I don't know why. Um... But yeah, but now I am wearing, um, there is no mirror here, so I can't show you, but let me put you here. So I'm wearing just some black kind of flared white leg trousers from H&M and then this oversized knit that I got from H&M when I was pregnant. And to be honest, I quite like the oversized nature of it, so I have kept it. Um, quite a lot of my maternity clothes I'm now in the process of selling because... Obviously, I don't need them anymore. Um, but some of the jumpers, I really like the way that they fit. So um, this one isn't maternity, but I just like the way it fits. It's just baggy, especially with jeans and stuff, because it hides my my little mum bump um, at the moment. Um, so I don't have to like feel self-conscious and all that sort of stuff, which is quite nice. Um, but yeah, I don't even know. I've put mascara on this morning, and I've obviously got my like lashes done already, because um, I've had them laminated like earlier in the month. I really can't be bothered to put any more makeup on. I think I might like try and, oh look, that's quite creepy. That's my mum in the background. That's her university, yeah, university, like graduation photo. Um, but I think I might try and like put my hair in like a messy plait. Like if any of you follow Molly May on Instagram, she put um, her hair in, she took a photo of her hair in like a really like, chunky plait i mean obviously mine's not gonna be chunky because my hair is so thin and i don't have extensions but it just looked really nice on her so i'm not trying to reenact it on my hair probably won't look as nice but the girl can try very <laughs> <laughs> 
Good. 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 Good.